what if you could create high quality AI generated images completely for free? Popular tools like Midjourney start at around $10 a month, but you can use this AI tool and get the same quality without spending a single dime. This tool is called Leonardo AI. To get started, you're going to go to the website leonardo.ai. If this is your first time, press create an account. Then you're going to input your name and your email and press count me in. If you don't even need to check your inbox, you can go straight to using Leonardo. Just press start using Leonardo. Yes, I'm whitelisted. And then you can log in like normal. Afterwards, you land on this interface. At the front are recent creations that have been generated by other users of this platform. This is a great place to get inspiration of what's possible with this tool. You'll also if you stumble across a piece of generated art that you like, such as this one, you can click on it and see the exact prompt that was used to generate it. You can then copy the prompt and use the same prompt or make modifications to it later. Keep in mind that with AI generated art, it's going to look different each time. Now let's create our own AI image. On the left panel, click on AI image generation. Then up top, you're going to type in your prompt. You can make this as simple or as detailed as you want. I'm going to start with a very simple prompt, just going to type a cute little raccoon reading a book. Down below, you can change your model. I'm going to change it to 3D animation style, and you can also adjust additional settings. Here, I'm going to change the dimensions, and now I'm ready to generate. After you click the button, it could take about 10 seconds for the image to generate. And voila, here's our first piece of art generated by AI. If you're starting a new school year, this would be perfect if you want to create your own little class mascot. And down below, it gives you the option to delete the image, download it, copy it, along with many other things. Now I'm going to type in a more elaborate prompt, and this might be helpful to create a writing activity. For instance, here I'm generating an image of an astronaut in an alien world with bizarre flora and fauna, and this was actually one of the prompts in the community feed. Now I'm going to press generate, and the images here are so cool, it almost looks like a movie poster. If you want to use this in the classroom, you can have students imagine and write about what they think the astronaut is doing, what they're seeing, how they're feeling. You can have students write I wonder questions and come up with a fun story. Speaking of stories, you can also use this tool to help students visualize your oral stories. Maybe you're discussing the story of Hansel and Gretel. You can simply type in Hansel and Gretel house. Keep in mind that with each image, it takes up some tokens and they renew each day. Once I press generate, here are the first two images that pop up. I mean, it kind of looks like it, but not quite what I was imagining. I was expecting more of a candy wonderland, but I think the first image is a good starting point. In this case, I can use the feature called image to image. To do this, you're going to go back to the home page and then find the image in your personal feed. Then you're going to click the button image to image in the middle and you'll see it pop up in the left panel. Now you can adjust the prompt to better fit what you were originally visualizing. I was thinking more colorful candy everywhere, so I'll just type that in and press generate. Now it's going to make modifications to the original image so that's still in the same style. Alright, it's colorful, but still not what I was thinking. This is where prompt engineering comes in. It's a matter of knowing which words and phrases to use to best generate what you are envisioning. So I'm going to make some minor changes to my prompt and press generate. Okay, now it looks more like a winter wonderland, but we're definitely getting closer in my opinion. If you're still watching up to this point in the video, I'd love for you to put in the comments below the prompt you would use to generate a Hansel and Gretel house. And by the end of this month, August 30th, if we have enough comments, I'll be live streaming and generating your prompts and we can all vote for whose was the best. But we need enough prompts in the comments to do that, so feel free to participate and experiment with different prompts. There's no right or wrong answer. You can keep it simple or elaborate, completely your choice. And it'll be our own version of a gingerbread house decorating contest. All right, now to finish off, I just wanted to show you a few more examples of what you could do with Leonardo AI. You could create coloring pages like these, and you simply need to modify the prompt to whatever animal or image you want to create. You can also make digital stickers to get your students excited. Now that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and feel free to like and subscribe. I'm also excited to see any prompts in the comments, or if you have any questions, you could definitely let me know below. As always, feel free to subscribe to our weekly newsletter for more AI tools like these. See you in the next video.